It's July the twenty ninth, two thousand and twenty. This is Human X. In this video, I'm going to talk about my neighborhood a little bit. Sha la la, sha la la, Human X is your human. Sha la la, sha. Last night, I heard the same screaming hysteria again. It sounds like the primitive expression of frustration, anguish, and despair. The woman or man—it was not easy to tell the gender—was screaming repetitively at the top of her or his lung. I tried to see who it was, and what the situation was, but just couldn't even figure out where the sound was coming from. I once saw a hunchbacked, middle-aged woman making the same distressful sound while walking along the street in the same area. Should our society leave people living in such anguish? Regardless who they are or what they have done, it seems these people were not even able to communicate. Were they trapped in some bad situation? It is distressful for me because it makes me feel this society is very insidious, and. Lacks not only law and order, but humanity. These are the items found lay laying around along Park Boulevard, between President Way and Upas Street, during the COVID nineteen quarantine period. Clothes are often found on streets and even on highways around San Diego. I often wonder what happened. Is anyone hurt? I don't know what happened. It's like people have been snatched away by some alien forces. In my neighborhood, I often see homeless people in abject condition. One day, I see them trying to camp out under easement outside a building, or under an outside staircase, or simply behind the shrubs by the sidewalk. Then, in the morning next day, I would see only some pieces of their belongings. And the shopping cart they were using, abandoned on the sidewalk, or the street. It's like they have been snatched away. It sends chills down my spine. What happened to them? Do they have family? Do they have anyone who cares about them enough to keep track of their whereabouts and safety? Most probably not. These people have no control of their personal safety or hygiene. They don't even have a life. How could they have liberty? In a country whose leaders and media are always chastising other countries about human rights abuse, why do they turn a blind eye? On the most obvious human abuse, by negligence, right in front of them on the U.S. soil. What hypocrisy this is! Homeless problem is very serious in U.S. 
compared with other countries that I have lived in. I'm here. I'm referring to Australia and China. U.S. is the richest country on earth, yet it can't provide basic housing for everyone in the country. Especially considering the U.S. population is only one fourth of that of China. Homeless people in the U.S. live a life that is much worse than American pets. It is irresponsible to blame the homeless. The American government needs to take better care of its people, instead of spending trillions upon trillions of dollars on making weaponry and fighting wars all over the world. Just like what Bernie Sanders was fighting for, housing is a human right, and the U.S. needs to stop human rights abuse by ensuring equal housing to all of the people on U.S. soil. If you talk about homeless problems with any Americans, you will most probably hear them saying that. It is a problem for those affected individuals. Is it really? How come there are much, much fewer homeless people in other countries? Let alone, there is almost no homeless people in certain countries. Doesn't that say anything about the U U.S. society as a whole? Shouldn't the whole society be responsible for what has happened to those individuals who are, who have ended up homeless? It could be domestic abuse. It could be just some personal tragedies. Where's the social support? Where's the compassion? Where's the social social institutions that could help people like these? No one is really interested in solving the problem once and for all. Everyone is just passing the buck, and it is just way too easy to blame those. Unfortunate individuals. Put your love in the excess of your love. Share love. Share.